Hey everyone, welcome to the Open Frameworks Interactivity Video Course by Pact Publishing. This course is authored by Denis Paravalov and Igor Tatarnikov, also known as Sotazat. My name's Greg Arnold. I'll be the voiceover artist for this course. Let's get started by talking about the authors. Dennis is a professional C++ programmer, currently working as a media artist and lecturer. His main programming skills are C++, OpenCV, and Open Frameworks. Igor is a professional video artist, programmer, and VJ. In 2011, they found Visual Laboratory, Kuflex, where they developed many interactive installations for many art exhibitions and science museums all around the world. They use Open Frameworks as our main developing tool. Previously, they shared their experience in two books of Open Frameworks, published by Pact Publishing. And now they're proud to present you our video course on Open Frameworks. They took almost a year to create it, so we hope you enjoy it. In this video, we'll overview the course to provide you with a glimpse of what you'll learn. This course consists of nine sections. They cover the whole range of the practical aspects of using Open Frameworks, from installation to processing various kinds of data and connecting the peripheral devices. Each section is a practical tutorial devoted to the programming with Open Frameworks, installation, or investigating its built-in examples. Occasionally, we'll consider a little bit of theory. This course will teach you the basics of Open Frameworks itself and introduces the many famous and useful Open Frameworks extensions, known as add-ons. We will introduce several of our own add-ons, which we're using in our Kuflex projects for a long time. Most of them were published on GitHub during the working of this course. During the working of this course, the first section will learn to install Open Frameworks for various platforms. Also, we'll build and run one of the example projects included in Open Frameworks. Second section will learn to start a new Open Frameworks project, explore its basic parts, and develop a simple application. Third section will learn to extend basic Open Frameworks functionality with add-ons, and will consider several popular add-ons. Fourth section will become familiar with 2D and 3D vector graphics. We'll start by drawing geometric primitives, then learn coordinate systems transformations. For creating graphical hierarchies, we'll become acquainted with drawing 3D meshes. Finally, consider creating animation using harmonic oscillations and Perlin noise. Section 5 will learn to deal with raster graphics, images, video, frame buffer objects, and fragment shaders. Section number six, we'll become acquainted with using sound in open frameworks. We'll play sound files, capture and synthesize sounds. Section number seven, we'll consider networking in open frameworks. We'll start with using OSC protocol for exchanging parameters between apps. Then we'll explore using TCP protocol for sending and receiving data arrays between apps. Finally, we'll consider how to embed web server into Open Frameworks to be, able, to be able to control it remotely by web. In the eighth section, we'll consider using gamepads, joysticks, MIDI controllers, and Arduino in Open Frameworks. Final section, we'll consider working with dev cameras, such as Microsoft Connect V1, V2, and Stereo Lab Z cameras. To proceed with the course, we expect that you have some experience with any programming language. Note that Open Frameworks is based on the C++ language. But don't worry, in the course we'll exploit only its very basic features. This course will teach you to install Open Frameworks and add-ons. Also program graphics, sound, networking, connect peripherals, and depth cameras. Alright, let's get started. 